Hello reformers and welcome back to 16th century. Now when we left off we had explored a couple of neutral locations on the world map and we're continuing to do a little bit of exploration and as you can see we've actually walked into an area that is in my opinion a pretty decent place to level up a rather early to mid tier army. So if you're looking for something and you're playing you know playing this mod at the same time as me then I'd recommend probably coming to this area. Area. As you can see, I've gone throughout here. This is kind of Southeast Asia, and then India, and then the Middle East sort of thing. And there's Cairo over there. And then I went all the way down there, expecting to see massive amounts of, I don't know, towns, villages, and things. And there's only, what, two? <laughs> That's a bit weird. But yeah, I think it's probably because I did not go over to the side here. There's probably a bunch along the coast on the left as well. Oh yeah, and by the way, when you travel through the desert, your party loses morale. It's relatively similar to how you lose morale when you are sailing on the ocean. So I suppose it's just because it's a little bit of a difficult situation and your, your men, especially mine, considering they're English, they're going to complain. So yes, that's... That's definitely the way to go. Anyway, yeah, otherwise we've obviously just traveled along there. That's where we were in the previous episode. So we've traveled quite far, and I'm hopeful that I will be able to... I was actually wondering whether you can go across here. Can you go across there? That's Madagascar as far as I'm aware. Mm, it does... It, oh, it may, it may be. No, no, I don't, I don't think there are any sort of walkways. You know, usually you can see like an indentation, like for example here. You can probably travel across the ocean here, but I don't think you can go to Madagascar, which is a shame because if there's any kind of pandemic, sort of epidemic situation, then going to Madagascar is usually the best way to go. Oh yes. Anyway, the point is, this is a bunch of Japanese pirates, and we're probably going to try and take them on. And we're going to sort of gauge whether they are good enough for someone that is just starting off, you know, kind of having about 50, 60 relatively low to mid tier units. Maybe that would enable them to, what, what the heck, what, what's, what's going on there? That horse is kicking up papers or something? When, when it runs around, it's kicking up some sort of paper or is that, I don't even know. I don't even know what's going on with that. But anyway, point is, this might be a really, really good place to level up units. Obviously, right now, because I have a, according to the game, I have a, a quote-unquote older soldier. I, I would assume it's just a higher level soldier. And I think that that is giving us so much experience right now. I, uh, I have a very, very low trainer skill at the moment, so it cannot be me. I am not helping anyone level up at the moment, and our companions certainly aren't either. So it's very interesting to see that this quote-unquote older unit is giving us so much experience. It's giving us about, hmm, how much, how much are they giving? About 2,000 every single, every single day. And sometimes it even gives us 4,000. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. I actually don't know. But I can assume it's just because we have either like an English knight or something along those lines that is giving us a great bonus. Anyway, it seems like we have, well, chased them off. We have chased them off. They are all routing. I don't blame them, to be honest. Running into a bunch of archers, no matter where they come from, is certainly a surefire way to lose a bunch of morale. But as you can see, they don't have shields. As far as I'm aware, they don't have shields, so it's relatively easy if you do have an archer-based army, or maybe... Uh, do they have pole arms? It, uh, they do... Ah, uh, yeah, some of them. Some of them do have pole arms, I think. But I would assume mostly they just have two-handed swords and things like that, so... It might be quite easy for a cavalry army as well, but yeah. It, it seems like a pretty decent place to go and level up a low- to mid-tier army, so not too bad. Obviously, if you don't have the older soldier thing going on, then this might be this might be an option. I think this is probably one of the only sort of bandit parties that I've seen so far. Because when I was running around to North Africa, South Africa, and sort of the Middle East area, didn't see any looters whatsoever. Any bandits, any looters, no one. So that's the reason why I'm kind of highlighting this particular thing that's going on here. Because I, I personally feel like finding bandits is a really, really important thing to do. Anyway, let's level up some more swordsmen here. Level up some more of those, and as you can see, we're just leveling up like nobody's business. 
So it's pretty cool. And wow, we've actually gained some really... Whoa, that is an amazing helm. That is an absolutely amazing helm. Look at that, 50. 50. We got a worse helm from that event in the previous episode. Crazy. Crazy. Okay. Well, I don't think I actually need any of these things, to be honest. I mean, I could... Uh, the cartridge is absolutely pointless in my opinion. Yes, absolutely pointless. Oh, well. Anyway, I have enough money to purchase another Weavery and Dye Works, so I'm probably going to try and do that in just a second. But what I would like to do is... Who am I going to give this this helmet to? Probably going to give it to this guy, because... I mean, it, I think it just looks cool. And this is better, is it? Hmm, he loses a bunch of leg armor, but does that matter? I suppose it does, because he is on a horse. And his legs are going to be attacked a lot more than his body would be. But this is really nice armor right here that we're wearing with this guy. Maybe I should just swap those armors around. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him this so he looks a little bit cooler. And then this guy is going to get the Milanese armor as well. There we go. That seems a little bit better, I feel. Is it? Yeah, I guess. Why not? Okay, we need some more. Uh, yeah, better boots. There we go. There's my old boots. And that's it. There we go. That seems nice to me. And they can level up as well. So we're just going to improve his strength once again. I mean, what else is there really to do with him? I mean, he's just going to be a heavy cavalry unit. I suppose we could level up his trainer skill, but he's still pretty low level. So it's not really going to make too much of a difference. And we're going to continue leveling this fellow's agility. Uh, he has zero in trainer as well, but I think we might try to get him a little bit in power strike because you never know, maybe he's going to need to, you know, hit something for once. Anyway, we are now here in Byron's pants. Yeah, no. <laughs> in his level up screen. And we're going to... Oh, what are we going to do? I mean, we've spent so many points on agility so far. And I do have five in Weapon Master, but I suppose I should just continue leveling that agility up. I mean, it's going to be paying off dividends in the future. So what are we going to do otherwise? I guess trainer. I guess trainer is a good idea because we're going to we're going to be level 15 soon and that's going to start really paying off. So let's get a little bit more in one-handed, a little bit more in two-handed just in case. All right. So the main reason why I started the recording here is because of this. Dong Kang. Now, I don't know what this is, but I can assume it is one of those, you know, sort of event locations. I'm going to be saving, because you never know. Maybe there's going to be a bit of a crash issue here. Who knows? So, let's head inside. Oh my. Hello there. Wow. The architecture in all of these neutral events is really, really cool, because it just really demonstrates... Is that... Oh, you're attacking me. You're attacking me. That's not very nice of you, is it? Okay, well... Let's see if I can just interrupt your reloading. Oh no, he's gonna you know he's gonna shoot me. Dance it. Yes. Okay, we're dancing a little bit there. Are you serious, Byron? Are you really serious? You deserve to get shot right now, just for that. Literally. Okay, there we go. Okay, we took him out. We are now level twelve. Fantastic. Nice. And yeah, as I was saying, the architecture really demonstrates that this is a world mod. You know, this is a world mod. It's not just you know, focusing on one topic. Oh, this is not good. Okay, hello. Oh my. Yes. Okay. Well, I have a bad feeling about this. Suffice it to say. Okay, yeah, come on, block it. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Okay, so let's see if we can do a little bit of... Ooh, that was sneaky. That was a really, really nice attack from him right there. Okay, now let's see if I can... Ah, uh, no, whoa. Okay, this blade... This blade that he is using is very good. It's very fast. Look at that. Very fast and very damaging. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to give you any kind of, well, shall we say negative effect when you perish in this kind of situation. So I'm happy with that. But yes, unfortunately, now I have to deal with this guy again. The wonderful, wonderful fellow that Byron continually misses. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's not too bad. I wonder how much experience you gain from killing these because we leveled up pretty handily just from that and I, I actually didn't take note of how much experience we have let's have a look here I have 20,407 so let's have a look and see what we actually gain I could turn on the experience game but I'm too lazy to do that so let's just go and 
get some more agility. And what else do we want to go for? I suppose we could go for some more looting if we really wanted to, because that is technically an agility skill. But I think I'm just going to continue going for trainer at the moment. We are two points away in terms of our intelligence from getting an additional point in trainer. But I think three in trainer is a pretty decent base level. So I don't know. I, I guess I guess that's fine. I mean, I'd, I'd pr appreciate more, of course. I mean, you can always appreciate more stats. Anyway, I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Okay, hello. Yeah, you want to kill me, I know. Yes. Nice headshot. Okay, can I reload before this guy gets to me? Yes, I can. <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. Okay. Good. Good. Give me your sword. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is a one-handed slash two-handed weapon, so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be using this. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's just see real quick. That is quite slow, isn't it? In comparison? Yeah, it's a little bit slower, so I, I, I don't know, really. I don't know whether I should use that. Okay, so does that guy have a... Pistol? No. He does not have a pistol, so I can take advantage with my crossbow. Oh, yes. There we go. Nice. All right. But do you see the surroundings here? It is magnificent. Very, very tranquil and very serene. And we're bringing bloodshed to this area, which is uh, probably not the most respectful thing to do. But I suppose, considering we may be getting a rather nice reward for this, I guess you can't blame us. <laughs> yes. Come on. Yeah, nice headshot. All right. And do bear in mind that while I am doing this, I am receiving interest from my investments in the bank, and I am also receiving a huge amount of money from my various enterprises. Oh yeah, by the way, the interest does not get paid into the bank itself. It just gets paid into your inventory at a moment's notice. So basically a week from when you placed those, you know, that, that, that piece of money in the bank, that is when it will give you. And I'm, I'm getting about 365, 365 per week. So it's decent, but I wouldn't say that you probably want to invest too much money in it in comparison to enterprises, because even an ironworks is going to give you almost the same or maybe even better than what that is. So yeah, that's definitely something to take into account. I guess if you have a huge amount of enterprises already, then, you know, spending your money on, you know, investing into the bank and getting some interest, I guess that's the only other way that you can make money. And that's a pretty decent way to go about it, I guess. But otherwise, mm, yeah, it's all right. Okay, we need to be a bit careful here. Okay, yeah, I was hoping for a headshot there, but he was a bit slower than I anticipated in the water. Oh, no! No, 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 no. Can you can you die, please? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, wow. Am I going to die from this guy? I hope not. Oh, my. Yes. Really should not have been too complacent with hitting him. Okay, yes. Yeah. Oof. Okay, that was close. That was very, very close. Okay, knowing me, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to go over here. I'm going to encounter a fellow that has a pistol, and he's miraculously going to hit me in the first shot, because none of the pistol shots have hit me ever before, right? Now, that is going to change. I mean, he has fired one shot already, as you can see. This is actually a pistol fellow as well, which is hilarious. Anyway, let's... Is he going to shoot? Are you, are you, are you going to shoot? Okay, I'm going to show myself. Yeah, there we go. You missed. That's what you get. All right. Oh, it seems like I'm going to have to walk around the barrier here. Oh, okay. Well, that's not too good. Oh, that's not very good at all. Look at that. That was very close. Very close hit by this fellow here. Okay. Shoot me. Yep, there we go. Okay. Let's try it. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay. Dodge. Yes. Okay. Yeah, there, okay, that's good, that's good. We've interrupted his reloading sequence. And maybe we can... Ah, Byron. Byron, really. I don't know what has gotten into you. You just don't know how to hit with your crossbow anymore. Oh my. Okay, yeah, let's just dodge that. Thank you. And maybe I can do a little bit more damage. There we go. Interrupt him once more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, phew. Phew. Okay, have we killed all of them? I don't know. I would assume, considering it hasn't booted me out of the environment, that we still have an opponent to fight. 
and I'm very worried as a result of this. Maybe I have to go over those bridges over there. Okay, so I walked across the bridges over there in the center and I went over to that table. There doesn't seem to be anything there, so I can only assume that the last structure that we haven't fully investigated is going to have an enemy within it, or at least I hope that is the case, because if it's not, then I have no idea where to go. So let's see, is there anyone behind here? No? No one's behind here. This is very strange. Maybe I have to go out into the sort of main entrance way again and go somewhere else. But, I mean, I can't see anyone here. Maybe this is destructible? This is not destructible. This is a very big door. Very, very big door. Giant must live here or something. Anyway, I don't think there's anywhere else I can explore here. So this is very perplexing to me. Aha! Okay, so maybe... The last thing that I can try is that there is probably a door here that I can hit and destroy it like in previous neutral areas. So maybe I can destroy this door over here. This looks to be an iron door, so I would highly doubt it. But as you can see, I can look through. Is there anything in there? <laughs> no, it doesn't seem like there's anything in there. That was a bit of a graphical glitch there, but yeah doesn't seem like there's anything else, which is very strange, because you would think that it would have ended by now. Huh. Okay, I'll go out into the main entranceway and see if there's anything else, because, I mean, you can plainly see that there aren't any more enemies. Alright, so, yeah. To cut a long story short, there's actually an additional area over here with a bunch of extra units to fight. I'm very, very worried about this for many reasons, and the first reason is these guys are very good in combat. And I'm not, so I need to headshot them with a crossbow to be able to win this. And if I don't, well, we can basically kiss the reward, whatever it may be, goodbye. So let's just see if I can... Can I please headshot this? Come on, Byron. Headshot him. Or not. Whatever you'd like. <laughs> just make sure you hit him. Yes, there we go. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Anyone else want a piece of me? No, apparently not. All right, so what I'm going to do... He is... Oh, here's the thing. I was actually going to pick up one of their weapons because this does so much damage, but you do have to bear in mind that it is still a two-handed and we don't have a very high two-handed proficiency. So that is going to mean bad, bad things are going to happen to us. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to try my best. Does this guy have a pistol? He does not. Oh no, that's not good. He's using the tree as cover. Oh, that was close. Now that was close if ever I saw it. Wow. Okay, close. Very close. Okay, so otherwise... Wow, that guy was really good. That guy was really, really good. He used the tree as cover and everything. Okay, so can I bash the door down here? Nope. Okay. Ah, oh, there's, there's one over there. I can assume that we are getting close to the... Oh, no. Exit. Oh no, this is not good. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe we're gonna be okay here. It really depends. It depends on many, oh, on many factors, I was gonna say. Oh yes, there we go. This guy has a pistol. And I'm not very happy about that. I was, I was just thinking to myself, yeah, I'm gonna get ambushed. I'm gonna get ambushed through there, 100%. I... <laughs> 100% knew that I was going to get ambushed in this area. Oh my. Wow, that was that was very nerve-wracking. Okay, so thankfully, we're still not dead. I'm on 1% HP, so... Could you... Uh, could, uh, could, the, could the rest of you just please just go away or something so that I can pillage your place here? That would be nice. I, I can assume that I'm going to get something hilariously bad as well because most of these neutral areas have not given me very good... No! Don't... Okay, phew. I thought I was going to fall into the world there because there was a slight, shall we say, glitch in the environment. What's that? Nothing. Anyone else around here? I mean, is there anything that I need to bash or something like that? Maybe? No. Huh. Interesting. Do I need to hit that thing? Well, I mean, that's the thing. Usually when I see like a reddish 
barrel shape thing in a game, I think to myself, oh, that's an explosive barrel. I probably don't want to be near that when it explodes. So hopefully I don't need to hit it or anything because I don't really want to test that out. Yeah, well, anyway, I'm just going to look around and see. Okay, it seems like I've discovered the final enemy. And I am 100% expecting to die against this guy. So let's just... Yes, there we go. Sneak attack, final guy, level 13. And what are we going to get? A Deming Helmet 20 Heavy. All right. Is it good? It is. It is very good in actual fact. Look at that. That is really nice. All right. So thank you. Ah, I, I am very happy with that. That is a nice helmet. And I'm, I'm very happy to have some good helmets. Because <laughs> we actually have a number of very, very good helmets now. Okay. Well, there you go. That's nice. Very, very cool. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.